Raiders on the run. Sounds like the legend of Atlantis. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Radio, 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 radio. Uh, take cell phones. They did studies back in the 80s with the microwave radiation and knew that it would vibrate the DNA strands, breaking them. And of course, your cells only replicate so many times. Then they start malfunctioning and you get mutation, you get cancer, to put it in layman's terms, and it increases cancer. And now there are medical doctors everywhere saying they're seeing 10,000, 20,000 times. Because before it didn't even exist. So even a slight increase is thousands of percentage points of brain tumors on the very side of the head where people hold their cell phone. And I, I know this is a fact. I can't get friends or family or anybody to use the, you know, the wire plugged into it. Studies show that reduces it a lot, but still fries whatever's close to it. For microwaves, every length of the transmitter you know, that you're away from it is half a level lower or, or more than uh, uh, of less radiation than you'd be getting. And it's all different types of radiation. I'm no engineer. I've had engineers on. I've had physicists. I've had nuclear physicists. I've had chemical physicists on. I've, I've broken it down. And they know the cell phones are killing people. They know putting cell phone towers on top of schools are a death sentence. Uh, they, they don't tell you to move into an apartment building that, hey, you don't want to live on the top floor or the top few floors right underneath the cell tower. They don't want to tell you what all this is doing to you. And it's just an attitude of come out with any technology and then just deploy it 
and, oh, put a smart meter on your house and let it fry you and spy on you. Dr. Doug Rocky is our guest. Doctor, is there any websites you want to put out for documentation? We've been putting a lot of the U.S. government documents on screen you've been talking about. Or is there anything you'd like to tell people about where they can learn more about what's happening? But in a larger issue, after you talk about that, I want to give you the floor to talk about whatever you think is most important, not just my questions, and to ask you about where you think this is going. Okay, first off, you're not going to find this on your general website. You're not going to find the information of the Department of Defense or the VA website. They just don't even put it up there. The key, there's two websites that have been absolutely incredible. One is called grassrootspeace.org, grassroots, G-R-A-S-S-R-O-O-T-S, peace, P-A-C-E dot org. And that was the original trap rock that the Quakers, Sonny Miller and Charlie Jinks, put together, and they're maintaining it. The other one where you'll find the government documents, and again, another documentary. I mean, we've done numerous documentaries. But uh, Joyce Riley on the Power Hour, they have a documentary called Beyond Treason. And the beyondtreason.com website has all these regulations, the orders, the directives, the medical corps thing, all this stuff. Excellent, on it. excellent documentary, and, and I'm just glad over the years that she's really, with Dave uh, Von Kleis, hammered that. So it's key for folks to check out both those sites. Now, uh, continuing, I just talked about the cell phones, all the different types of radiation. Where do you see all this going? Well, you have to remember, I mean, during Desert Storm, again, I had the responsibility for putting up the safety for the RF hazards and, the, you know, beam gun, all this stuff, what we call it, Buck Rogers ray gun. Any RF hazard, anything where you get the dose rate is, and this is a radiation, you got to measure it, you can calculate it, anything above 10 milliwatts per square centimeter is a total exclusion zone, 100% exclusion zone. 10 milliwatts per square centimeter, that is the total exclusion zone. So if that's the total exclusion zone, you can guarantee that the health effects thing are probably one one hundredth or one one thousandth of that, when it's up close. So what we do know happened, the way the RF works and everything is not ionizing, but what it does is cause the water molecule to vibrate and fracture and it destroys the water in the cells and everything else, the RNA, DNA, because that's all water. It just destroys it in place. So all of that stuff is known to go on forever and ever and ever. So when you stick that RF waiver up there or, the, you know, the military comes in and this freaks me out because they got the new Buck Rogers ray gun that they've deployed all over the United States, they've used in Iraq and Afghanistan. And what it is is an RF microwave ray gun that's on top of both the Humvee, on top of the buildings and everything. They just beam it at somebody and cook them alive. So it's like taking your body and putting it in a microwave oven and cooking it. So we've got that out there. And we've heard story upon story where people said, you know, all of a sudden I got burned and I got cooked and this beam was at me. Hey, it really is real and it's really happening. You know, so we've got all of this stuff. You've got a total disregard for everything. The incredible contamination that we're seeing from military operations, whether it's research or training back here in the States, or if the installations are totally contaminated, or where we've destroyed the infrastructure of these nations and contaminated with our weapon systems, has left a catastrophe for which there is no medical care and treatment. Like when I was in medical care yesterday at the Danville VA, the agreement was all we can do, Doug, is optimize the remaining function that you have and we got to optimize the remaining function of all the kids that are coming in here. Well, I've had a full life and a full career, but what do we do with that 22-year-old that has the function of a 70-year-old from the neuromuscular capability, is in pain, has all of these psychological problems, not from a mental illness, but from the fact that they're having a method, ethical and moral breakdown crisis from realizing wait a minute, we killed and invaded this nation over total lies, and now I'm supposed to believe it and go along with it? <laughs> Again, I think it's a basic issue of sanity. And then meanwhile, the elite obsess over carbon taxes on, on what comes out of coal power plants, uh, water and, and carbon dioxide. They obsess over how big your house is. They obsess over things like that, but then don't even care about all the real environmental crises that are going on and it looks like government a lot of times is the biggest polluter because they're exempt it's it's just really mind-blowing where do you see all this going well i just hope god can make a change and get people to start changing their actions before god makes the ultimate decision and everything gets wiped out 
we're seeing the slow wipeout now, as you mentioned, incredible birth defects, incredible learning disabilities, incredible respiratory, high rates of cancers. We didn't see this before. We didn't have this. And now with the better living through chemistry, better living through biology, better living through radiation, all we've done is created a medical disaster for which there is no way out. And uh, we've got to wake up. But anytime I try to get people to wake up, they say, well, you're lying. You didn't tell the truth. You're making us all up. Until like you, with you were with, here's the document, ladies and gentlemen. It's not one that the guys yelling the scream and trying to correct that created. It's the internal documents of the government confirming the problems that they disavow exist. It's so frustrating. And again, it's not like we're like goody two shoes. I mean, I don't think, I think of you as a hero, but I don't think of myself. People say, oh, thank you for covering what you're covering. Thank you for not wanting them to completely destroy the planet I live on. I mean, it just, it just seems like there's no common sense. It'd be like if your neighbor's house was on fire and there was high winds and it's going to blow over to your house, even if my house wasn't going to burn, I'd go call the fire department or throw some water on it. And it's like this attitude now. Well, statistically, I've seen it in the news that brain waves are lower. People don't help each other as much. People don't render aid. Uh, neighbors will watch their neighbor's house burn and not call the fire department uh, or not call their neighbor to see if they know. It's like a jellyfish spectator thing has come upon us. And I think it's television. Since the advent of television in the 40s, we've seen uh, just absolute degeneration of society. Uh, in countries that got it later, like in Africa in the 70s, uh, it, 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 uh, the same pattern where people just grow up watching this. And it's not real, most of it. And so it distorts reality. You're not down the street talking to your neighbors at the soapbox. Uh, you're not uh, involved at the PTA. Plus, the world, doctor, got so complex, I think that it's like the old legend of Atlantis, whether it's true or not, they developed technology so advanced they destroyed themselves. You know, we've got one of the problems, and as a teacher, and I've taught everything from kindergarten through graduate school now, and I have a lot of fun with the kids. The kids don't read. They don't read books. They don't go to the library. We'll put program after program together at the library, and I'm totally involved in that, running programs. We got snowed out here because of the snow and the ice the last couple of weeks. But it's so bad, so you can't get the kids to come there and read. They don't know their math. They, they're using their calculator or their computer, so they don't know their basic math facts. They can't do change when you go to the grocery store. They don't know how to multiply or divide. So therefore, when they go to get a job, whether they're a carpenter or a plumber or a car mechanic or an electrical engineer, they can't read, write, or do the math. And when you say, you know, it doesn't cost money to master this stuff. All it takes is time and effort. But somehow we keep throwing more and more dollars at it. Say, well, if we increase the salary of the teacher three times, all of a sudden the kids will start learning. Wait a minute. The salary of the teacher has nothing to do with the performance of the child. That strictly does the child want to read or write or do the effort. Do the parents maintain that they're doing it? And do the parents ensure that the kid behaves the kid behaves themselves when they go in the classroom? And today, at an hour, hour class period in grade school through high school, you're lucky if you get 15 or 20 minutes actual teaching time because you've got to spend so much time on disciplined behavior and making up the stuff that they should have learned already because they didn't take the time to do it. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. It's always good to hear from you. How are you doing medically? Uh, I know you don't like to talk about yourself, but uh, just describe briefly what happened to you and your team uh, around the DU and your, your experience. This is an important testimony to have it on record and any other points you'd like to add? Well, we all got sick within 24 hours of the initial cleanup, which, again, the military disavows we weren't there. And that was the highway of death in Kuwait. Yeah, we weren't there. But everybody got sick. The respiratory, the rashes all started. We had the first cancers in, in the team members within uh, nine months. The first death from lung cancer within two years, and it's continued on. Uh, the respiratory problems, the rash problems, the neuromuscular problems, spinal cord problems, kidney problems, the uh, eye problems, the hearing problems are just staggering. And when the weather starts changing like this, the pain is just astronomical. I mean, you can't get the pain under control when temperature or barometric pressure starts changing. And, I mean, I'm lucky. I can pour stuff and I have knowledge, but this kid out here that can't get the care or doesn't know what's happened to him or doesn't have the document to shove up the doctor's wazoo can't get the care. And then they get flustered. 